Huh. Now, <clears throat> I do not own any of this music. That's the legendary Rick James, bitch. What's up, fell? What's good? What's good, IG? Top of the morning. No, actually, top of the afternoon. 1230. Everybody uh, waking up from the slumber. For, hope you all uh, had a lot of good food. Hope you all had a lot of good uh, drink. Hope you had a lot of good smoke. What's good, Homicide? Hope you all had a lot of good gifts. Hold on, let me see what, 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 what Homicide doing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Killers, I ain't playing in the motherfucking day. We posted, no hiding. What's up, dog? What's up, man? What's good with you, dog? Nothing, man. Just fucking working hard getting this this film uh, done, dog. But I got, I got you, man. I got you in this shit. Don't even trip. Hell yeah, fucking uh, looking forward to it, man. There's a lot of good, uh, you know, good people are getting behind it. You know? Yeah, I'm trying to get a. Uh, I'm trying to get a uh, suavecito, the car, in that shit too. Oh, is that right? All the, all the old school shit, dog. Uh, I might be able to get it, but I think they said there's not an original, but there's like a copy of it. And I'm oh, gonna have okay. Shadow pull up, and it cause Shadow's the little brother of uh, of uh, Ernesto, so he could just say something like, "Oh, I bought it off the homegirls or something." Oh yeah, that'd be dope shit. Yeah, but yeah, man, it's gonna take. It might take longer than I was promising it by late next year, but it might be early 2022. But it's gonna it's gonna be hard, man. It's gonna be for our people. Put it down. Well, it's just like anything, bro. You know, you take as long as time as you need to take. As long as you put out a good product, no matter what, it's gonna it's gonna do well. You know what I mean? Yeah, and we got we got the orange crush in this motherfucker too, so everybody That's knows. Right. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for tapping in with us. You know what I mean? So, dog man, Merry Christmas, dog. Enjoy your uh, enjoy your uh, you know your day and shit. You know, just stay up, man. Be safe. All right, you too, brother. You have a good one and have a good Christmas. And I'm sure we'll talk before then. But if anything worse comes to worse, yeah. have a good New Year's. For sure, dog. You too, man. Okay, Peace brother. Out. You have a good one. Too. Late. All right. What's good? What's good? Uh, Instagram. What's up, my brother Renee? Uh, who else did I miss? What's up? Um, uh, Feliz Navidad, Malo. What's up, Marco? What's up, my boy? Uh, Villain. What's good, my boy? Merry Christmas, Phantom. Merry Christmas, dog. What's up, Brian Reyes? You got the cruda? Yeah, I believe it, dog. Fucking. Yeah, fucking, well, you know, you know what to say, dog, fucking, how to get rid of the crew that's fucking, you don't stop, you just keep going, you know what I mean? So, peace to homicide, make sure, uh, go and check in with his profile, man, and, um, uh, he got that movie, Higher Power, that he's working on, that, you know, you catch a boy in there, I'll be making my, my film debut, on this project, so I'm excited for it. Got a lot of good, uh, solid people behind it. Rasa behind it. It's gonna be a good project. So, you know, let's support. Let's support our people. Go on, uh, the real Mr. Homicide profile, and uh, you know, support. Give the raffle, donate whatever you can. Help. Let's get this project off the ground. What's up, Weapon? What's good, my boy? What's up, Jacob? Anyways, um, go on, tap in with everybody. Uh, hope you're all having a good uh, Christmas. Been a minute since I've dropped the war story for you all. Um, I just fuck, man. I get burned out on social media, to be honest with you. Fucking, you know, I'm, a, I'm one of those people, I'm sort of like, Oh, what's up, Vanessa? Merry Christmas to you, too. Say, uh, give my uh, salutations uh, to your dad and let them all know a happy birthday. Or happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Shit, I'm, I'm jumping too far ahead of myself. Um, so, I'm, uh, 
I'm going to drop a little war story, Christmas edition. You too, Junior. Have a blessed day, bro. Um, matter of fact, there's a street, Van Ness, right here. Um, so, uh, what's up, Eddie? Anyways, this was Christmas night, man. This is in the city of Orange. There used to be a movie theater called the Cynodome. Oh, man, that fucking, that motherfucker was popping like a motherfucker in the 90s, dog. Fucking, how many times we didn't fight in the fucking, in the lobby or in the, in the uh, parking lot, whatever. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Eddie. Um, so, this Christmas Eve, man, me and my, my, my boy Shorty from Anaheim were mobbing around, um, City of Orange, my homie George Perez. Um, sure, uh, some of you might know him. Uh, comedian George Perez is my homeboy right there. He was throwing a, a kickback at a suite, right? That was right across the street from the Cynodome. And, you know, he had the spot hooked up or, or whatever already. So we was mobbing around, you know. Looking, you know, see what we could get into. It was still early. It was probably about 9, 30, 10. You know, for us, that was early back then. Friday night, 9, 30, 10. Shoot, the night's just starting, man. I, I barely got out the door, you know what I mean? So um, we're mobbing around, picking homies up, dropping them off at Georgia Suite and stuff. And we happen to go by, man, uh, uh, the Cynodome, because we'd always see, you know, there would always be chicks kicking it, you know, at, at the movies and shit. That was the spot, right? So we went by, we see a group of chicks in the front, in front of the movie theater, right? And we went by, checked them out, whatever, took off, went down the way. My hood's not too far from um, from this movie theater, right? So we go back to the hood, pick up a few homies, whatever. So we drop them off, and the homie from Anaheim is like, hey, let's go buy see those Hainas are still there in the front and shit. I guess we're on a mission to go get some beer or some shit, right? So, um, now mind you, this is Christmas Eve, I believe, of 1996, if I'm correct, right? And um, we pull up, and there's this group of chicks. And there's a dude standing with me, right? So we pull up. First thing I do is I jam this fool up. Hey, man, where you from, fool? And he says, I don't claim. I don't bang, homie. I'm like, all right, cool. Fucking, uh, well, this is Orange Body of Cyprus. And he's like, oh, you're from OVC? You're from OVC? I'm like, yeah. And he tells me, "Oh, I'm from. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give out the name of the hood. It was a taggy crew before that became a hood. But from what I understand, they died out, uh, or they became another neighborhood. Um, and he went from ranking out, denying that he was from anywhere, to saying he was from this, from this, from this crew, right?" Well, this crew happened to have beef with my boys on the west side, the homies from Soys. They were beefing with these cats fucking big time. Fucking the homies from Soys, they had caught a case over a shooting with one of them. Right? So, um, We pull up, and obviously this cat knew where he was at. He knew our boys were in the same city, and they were they were around there. So I'm assuming that's why he fucking he ranked out because he thought we we're the homies from Soys, right? So he says, "No, I'm from nowhere." So I I, I tell him, you know, this orange old man said, "Whatever." Oh, I'm from so and so. I'm from from here, there, here, here, and here. Well. The homies are beefing with these fools. 
the way we got down is, hey, if you have beef with the homies, you have beef with all of us, man. You know what I mean? So I hopped out real quick, and I just laid this fool out, dog. I just jumped out, just cracked him, bam, fucking knocked his ass out, fucking right there in front of the fucking movies, in front of the chicks and shit. Yeah, that was fucked up, man. I shouldn't have done it in front of no no girls. You know what I mean? That, that was sort of fucked up movida right there. You know what I mean? What's up, homie? Saludos. Damn, you from uh, Salt Lake, huh? What's good, dog? Saludos, my boy. Anyway, so I, I jump out. I crack this. What's up, Cholo? How you doing, my boy? How you doing, Gil? Merry Christmas, my boy. Fucking, I hope you're having a good one, dog. Anyways, so I hop out. I crack this fool. I drop him, and his head hits against uh, uh, the trash, the trash container. You know how they have those metal trash containers? Well, he hits his head, boom, and the chicks are like, "Hey, well, I hear." something behind me like someone kicked the door open from the um from the from the inside of the theater merry christmas angie much love home girl so um i hear someone like kick the door or something and yell at me leave him alone and i hear a fucking strap fucking get cock clack clack and um what's up peanut merry christmas dog um, I hear the clack clack and I look and this fool fucking has a fucking burner pointed right in my face, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm fucking I know I'm not bulletproof or nothing. I hit fuck I duck down and I fucking fell out. My homie jumps in his ride and I'm going through the fucking the parking lot and I'm hearing Quetasos going off. Bam, 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 bam. Fucking Obviously, this fool didn't really want to kill me, dog. He had the fucking first step on me, right? He could have fucking straight up fucking hit me point blank fucking in the back or execution style or whatever, but he didn't. He basically allowed me to escape. I'm running through the parking lot, and he's letting off shots fucking. I'm fucking seeing windows fucking explode behind me fucking and then mind you it's raining fucking not like a lot but it was like sprinkling it would go on off on off and I'm running through the parking lot and I hear the cuetazos whatever going by fucking I don't know what happened to my homie dog he was gone I don't blame him fucking because as soon as I see the fucking strap fucking in my face I'm gone at least now we got Chewy what's good my boy so, um, you know, we both fucking bailed. I'm running through the parking lot, and I'm hearing shots coming at me. Bah! Bah! And they sound like fucking big old giant bumblebees, dog. Going by and shit. If you've ever been shot at, you already know fucking those fucking, those fucking slugs. They sound like those big old giant fucking uh, green beetles that fly during the summer and shit. Fucking, so... I'm running, and uh, I finally make it through the parking lot, and I jump, I jump over the fence, right, and I run to the suite, right. I get to the suite where George Perez and some of the homeboys are kicking it, and I'm fucking, you know, I'm fucking breathing hard, all kinds of shit. Everybody's like, "Hey, what the fuck happened?" I'm like, "Hey, fool, we just rolled up on these fools, me and Shorty." I fucking. I hit this I hit this fool up and he fucking he ranked out. Then when I when I told him off from the hood, he said he was he was from uh from the cruisy fools are beefing with, right? And uh I fucking I, I fucking bombed on him. I fucking laid him out fucking one shot. And then, well then fucking like why are you running this shit? Well what happened is his homeboy came out and fucking pulled a fucking gun out on, on us. So I fucking ran through the parking lot and he started fucking um, shooting at us through the parking lot and shit, right? 
So uh, I'm explaining the story and shit. You know, what's going on, what happened and shit. Well, back in my head, I'm like, fuck, man. I hope Shorty didn't get smoked, dog. That's the only thing going through the back of my mind is fuck. You know, fuck, yeah. I hope Shorty didn't get fucking smoked. I mean, you know, fucked up situation if he did, but, you know, it's, it's all fucking, it's all in, that's all part of war. You know what I mean? So, luckily for me, I'm out there and I'm I'm, try, I'm talking to all these like, hey, let's fucking uh, let's go back, dog. Let's go look for this fool. See what happens. Lo and behold, come shorty, dog. What's up, Cisco? What's up, my boy? Merry Christmas, perro. Um, lo and behold, shorty pulls up, man. And that fool was all, where were you, motherfucker? I was looking for you the whole fucking time, dog. And I and I'm like, well, fuck, you know, I didn't I didn't have a chance to think. I just seen that fucking the gun in my face, and I was gone, you know. And I'm like, what happened with you? He's all, yeah, I fucking jumped in the car. He was chasing you at first, but then decided to go after me. And as I was pulling away. He was hitting my car, and but he shot at the car a few times, and then I seen him shooting at you. But then I seen the fucking security guard come and start shooting at him. Right? So he goes on to tell me, Shorty goes on to tell me that he takes off or whatever, and, you know, he comes back to the suite and shit, and we look at the car. And the car got like four or five bullet holes in that shit, man. And I'm like, fuck. So I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't know why fucking this fool fucking let me live, man. Fucking. He had me point blank, dog. He had me fucking dead to rights. I was done. You know what I mean? If, if he would have had that fucking, that, that killer instinct, fucking, I wouldn't be here right now. And uh, so... We go back, we jump in, in, in the ride, well, another ride, because we couldn't roll that one. That shit fucking had bullet holes in it. And we go back towards the, the, the movies, and there's cops all over the place, dog. Fucking. They have the whole shit shut down, fucking all kinds of stuff, right? So... That was it. Basically, we kicked it. Fucking, you know, we were fucking counting our lucky stars. Fucking, we survived that night. And we, uh, you know, none of us got killed. We partied, all that shit. Fucking, but the kicker was, was that the dude, I guess, got shot at by the security guard. So he busted back at the security guard. And they got into this little small shootout, and the gang unit happened to pull up a few minutes right after, and they fucking, I guess, they hemmed him up. He fucking, he surrendered right away. Well, they fucking, they got him, they arrested him, all kinds of shit, right? Well, this guy ends up fucking, from what I, I hear later on, getting a life sentence, fucking... He got, you know, he shot at fucking the dude, fucking the security guard, fucking, I'm sure the fucking security guard testified, I'm sure the security guard testified that, um, I'm sure the security guard testified that he was shooting at me and oh boy, and back then, this was like, like I said, 96, gang enhancements, Gun charges, shooting at people. Yeah, he was washed up, man. So, uh, you know, just another fucking uh, tale, man. Fucking, you know, this is how it was in the 90s, dog. Fucking shit will pop off in a heartbeat, you know. And you could go from being the fucking the predator to being the prey in a heartbeat. You know what I mean? And... That's one of the times that I thank my, my my fucking pray to God and thank him that fucking he let me survive. You know what I mean? Because this fool had me, man. And 
he got life anyway, so I don't know why he didn't fucking shoot me and fucking smoke me and catch a life sentence for fucking a body anyways, but hey, I ain't complaining at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah, Tales from the Hood. I had to throw a special Christmas edition. So, yeah, so that was that was basically uh, one of my Christmas tales fucking on Christmas Eve, man. For some reason, I always had Oh, some crazy shit pop up on, on Christmas Eve for me. Oh, there was another time on a Christmas Eve, I was with my homeboy Indio, man. I told this on a, on, on, a, uh, the Gangster Rap Chronicles, but since the other one was a little short, I'll fucking, uh, I'll kick that one too. I'm gonna finish up the story, Chino, and then I'll fucking, uh, I'll link up with you. Um, uh, this was, Probably had to be Christmas of like 93, 94, dog, around there. Couldn't, couldn't have been too much uh, uh, later, but me and my homeboy, Indio, were mobbing around and shit. What's up, Chino? Doing good, dog. Merry Christmas, my boy. For sure, Renee. I, ho I hope you guys enjoy the caldo, bro. So I'm with my homeboy, Indio, man. He got his sister's car, and uh, he don't got no license, fucking, we're kids, man, we're like fucking, you know, 16, 15, 16 years old and shit, we're mobbing around, well, there was these fools that were from, that, uh, uh, that were from a crew back then, now we got major beef with these cats, well, I guess if, considering the circumstances nowadays, there isn't no beef anywhere, but we did have beef with them. Anyways, um, <clears throat> what's up, Alicio? Shouts out to Pacific Street. What's good, dog? Fucking, um, so me and the homie, we're mobbing around, man. Fucking, you know, we're drinking, we're smoking, we're mobbing around the city. We're strapped, dog. You know, we're looking, we're looking for problems, you know. It's Friday night, Christmas Eve, and, um, uh, we go by, there's a 7-Eleven off of Chapman and Batavia. Yeah, 93 was really crazy. Remember that shit? Fucking couldn't even go out your house without fucking bullets flying and shit. What's good, Sharks? How you doing, my boy? So, um, me and my homeboy, Andy, we're mobbing around the city, man. Fucking, you know, looking for whatever we could find in the city. So, we're over there. We go by Chapman and, and Batavia. There's a 7-Eleven um, right there. And uh, we go by. Merry Christmas, homie. Fucking, and we see about four or five fools posted up in front of the 7-Eleven. Right? Sharks, what's good, my boy? Merry Christmas, dog. Fucking, and I see them, and we pass them up. It was already too late to, like, you know, pull in or whatever. So I tell the homie, fucking, hey, let's go back, dog. You know, let's go see what's up with these fools, man. Fucking, you know, we know who they are. We went to school with these fools, man. You know, we always knew who they were and shit, fucking. And, uh, and they were always grouped up, but they, you know, they didn't, they didn't want no beef. You know, at that time, they were all, we're a crew, we're a crew, we don't gangbang, we don't gangbang, whatever. But, you know, just, you know, you're you're in our side of the city, and you know we ain't taking we didn't, we didn't never took that shit lightly. You know what I mean? So I tell him to bust a bitch, go back, right? We pull up on these fools, and I hit them up. Hey, where you fools from? Oh man, oh we don't got no beef with you guys, dog. Fucking, we got we're just a crew, homie. We don't. We don't got no bell or no shit like that, fucking. I already in my mind is like, fuck these fools, dog, fucking. You know, fucking. They keep telling us they're a crew, they're a crew, but behind their our backs, they're over there fucking recruiting motherfuckers and fucking, you know, they're, they're, they're acting like the hood. You know what I mean? So I'm already, uh, already I'm already about ready to have, let this fool have it. I'm fucking talking to him disrespectfully. Well, you know what? Fuck you, fools, dog. Fucking, 
You know, this orange fool, what the fuck you fool's gonna do about it? Fucking bitches, I, I fucking uh, spit at them and shit. They didn't budge, dog. They didn't say shit. So I'm about to hop out and let this fool have it, dog. All of a sudden, I hear, nah, it's not, this is way before uh, uh, the mass moves ever came out. Fucking, uh, this is like 93, dog. So, um, I hear, a, I hear over a loudspeaker, pull the vehicle over. And I look behind me and it's a fucking gang unit, bro. Fucking one's on the speaker and one's approaching the fucking, the car, right? So they both get off and they start like coming towards us. My homie's looking at me like, fucking like, what should I do? You know? And I'm like, just, you know, and I'm strapped, man. So I'm like, fuck. You know, fucking it's a fucked up situation, you know? So they're coming up to us with the weapons drawn. Back then, I wasn't even tripping. They, you know, fucking nowadays, I, fuck, I probably would have just, hey, you know, let's fucking, let's just pull over and fucking, these motherfuckers will light our asses up, you know? Back then, I wasn't worried about that shit. Fucking wait in front of him, get as close as possible. I told him, hey, hit it. Go, fool, go. So that fool fucking punches it, dog. He takes off, you know what I mean? Fucking. He peels out and shit. Hey, matter of fact, I have some of these stories on fucking YouTube. Hit on my, my channel, dog. OCR33P at YouTube.com. Sticks, what's up, fool? Fucking, fucking, what's good, Sticks? Call me fucking Palito from Fulas. What's up, dog? Fucking, did time with homie in Chino East, man. Fucking long ass time, dog. Fucking, um, so, uh, the homie punches it, right? And he fucking, he's gone, dog. Well, the cops, they got to run back to their fucking, their car and shit. And I just tell homie, hey, fucking hit as many rights as possible. So, fucking, he's gone. Bam. We hit a fucking right cor uh, uh, right turn on Almond, right? And so, fucking, we're hitting, he's peeling out, and... We got a good fucking uh, amount of distance on them. And I see the fucking lights. They have their lights turned on. And I tell him, hit another right. So he hits another right. And fucking, I tell him, fucking, hey, park it, dog. I'm jumping out. Right? So fucking, I jump out. And I fucking, I head into a fucking, I, I jump in. I, I run through somebody's driveway. And I run to the backyard. I got the burner with me. Fucking, and, uh. I fucking, I bail fucking out. I go to the fucking, I go to the, through the uh, driveway. I hop the fence. I end up in the fucking, in another, in somebody else's fucking pad, right? So I got the burner. I go and I stash it in the backyard. I fucking take off my shirt and my, my hoodie and all that shit. And fucking, I, um, I'm, I'm going towards the front, right? I, I'm going from the backyard to the driveway and I'm going to the front. To go to, you know, to see if there's any cops or anything right there. And as I'm walking out, fucking cops right there, fucking with a lot of light spotted practically. He's cruising by slowly, but he has a light fucking right on me, just, uh, uh, hitting me with the fucking, with, uh, with the bright light. Well, I always had a thing where on the streets, especially when I was out gangbanging, whatever, I'd always wear a hoodie, right? And under, I'd always wear, and the hoodie always had to be dark, like dark gray, dark blue, black. Feliz Navidad, Malo. Appreciate it, my boy. Have a good holidays, you and your family. If I don't talk to you, have a good New Year's as well. I always had a thing, though, where I, I would always wear a dark hoodie. And under, I'd wear like a light shirt, whether it be like a light gray or white or whatever. Because, you know, usually when they did get a description on you, the cops... No, nah, I didn't have no ballistic vest at that time. Um, they, um, the first thing they do is they give a description. Oh, a Hispanic male wearing all black or black hoodie. So the first thing I always did was shed the fucking hoodie or whatever and fucking put on like a, uh, have something light colored under. So I'm walking up, uh, through that driveway and the cops going by shining the light on me. I see a trash can right there in the front. 
because I had I had two choices, man. Fucking either play this shit off or run again and blow my cover. I see a trash can over there. I walk up, I grab the trash can, pick it up, and run and, and, and casually stroll back to the fucking uh, th from the drive from the front of the yard to the driveway to the backyard. And I'm like, fuck, man, these motherfuckers are going to get me. I open, I, I fuck with the, the back door a little bit. This shit was unlocked, dog. Fucking, I, I go in, fucking, you know, lights are on and shit, but fucking not seeing nobody, right? So I'm like, fuck. That cop fucking most likely by now passed by. But if there's somebody in here, they're going to fucking call the cops. They're going to find the gun. They're going to fucking, you know, they're going to get me for fucking burglary or for breaking and entering or some shit. You know what I mean? It's If, if people were there, I was fucked. My situation would have been fucked up at that, at that time. Merry Christmas, David, 208. Have a good holiday, my boy. So, um, I'm fucking, uh, I'm in this house, man, and the lights are on and everything. I'm like, fuck. You know, do, do I risk, make sure fucking people are here, or do I wait? What do I do? So what I did is I covered my face. First thing I did was cover my face. I had a bandana on, put it on my face, and I went through the house, checking every room, making sure there was nobody in there. And fortunately, there was nobody there in the house. So I locked the door, whatever, fucking watching my fingerprints, whatever, you know what I mean? And um, I turn, you know, I turn the TV on, kick it. Looking outside, there's cops all over the place, man. Fucking cruising all over the place on foot. Fucking helicopters going by. All kinds of shit, man. So about an hour or so goes by, and it finally dies down some, right? And I'm thinking about using the phone, but, you know, I'm extra super paranoid all if I use the phone, fucking they're going to trace it back. You know, I want to fucking see, you know, fucking what happened to the homie and shit because, you know, at that point I wasn't sure. I jumped out the ride. I don't know if he kept going. I don't know what the hell happened. I just knew I had, I had the ball and I had to run with it. So I go. Merry Westman's Meek Lion. Have a good holiday, my boy. So I go, I go back to the stash spot where I stash the burner and I stash my hoodie. I throw everything back on. Fucking, you know, and I grab my shit. I go and I restation. Fucking, I, um, I, I put, I put the burner in another bush. And this is now, it's about like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, right? And I walk around the corner, see if there's any cops, any people around. There's no nothing, you know what I mean? So I grab the burner and shit, and uh, I stroll over fucking the homies pad, right? So I get to the homies pad, and... You know, I, I, I tell them the story. Hey, man, this is what happened. I rolled up on these fools and they bitched out and shit and the gang unit fucking, you know, pulled up on us. Fucking, so I'm calling the homie, calling the homie. Fucking no answer, no answer, no answer. Fucking no nothing. I'm like, fuck, man, they got this fool. So um, I fucking end up paging him. I don't know if you guys remember the fucking pagers and shit. So I paged him, paged him a few times, fucking to my pager. About 15 minutes later, fucking pages me back. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. It's probably the fucking cops because it's, it's, you know, fucking, you know, they probably got his fucking pager and all this shit fucking, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm risking taking this call or, or calling him. So I call him and he tells me, yeah, fool, fucking when he jumped out, fuck, I kept going. And they fucking pulled up on me. And they fucking pulled me out the car, snatched me out, fucking all kinds of shit. And, um, 
you know, they, they, they pulled me out and they started asking about you. Why did they were asking, why did we take off? What, you know, and fucking, why did, you know, why didn't we listen to their commands and stop? So I told them that you were my sister's friend and that we were at a party and that you had asked me to get a ride and I was giving you a ride and that you pulled up on these guys and when you guys, the cops, pulled up that you told me you better you better fucking punch it or I'm a fucking I'm a smoke your ass. You know, so hey man. Hey, watch the car, dude. Huh? Okay, be careful. Dumb motherfucker. Fuck, man. So, anyways, let me try to wrap this shit up, man. Fucking, he tells the cops that, fucking, he's my cousin's friend and shit, fucking. No, I gotta check my car, dog. This guy's fucking in my shit, man. I know, I just gotta check, man, that you didn't fuck it up. Monday. Aquí? We got them, man. Anyway, so he tells the cops I'm a fucking that he don't know who I am and that fucking I had threatened him that I was gonna fucking smoke him and fucking he didn't keep going. So they believed his story and they let him go, dog. And he gave him a bunk description of who I was. He said like I was fucking a, a, a Asian guy or some shit. And he gave him a total bunk story, dog. They fell for it. They never caught me. Fucking never got a burner case. Never nothing came about it, dog. Fucking and that was another Christmas story, Christmas war story for you. Fucking sorry if I wasn't that dramatic or I had to tell a story too well today because uh this fucking bison over here fucking hit my car with this fucking car door fucking big old dummy. I know, hey, I'm gonna need uh some some more design soon, Marlo. Fucking let's do this shit, man. So uh anyways, man, fucking uh I'm hoping you all have a good fucking holiday, man. Fucking everybody have a good Christmas. Um much love and respect going out. Southern Kelly Bounce, tap in with that shit if you haven't already. Fucking straight slapper right there, bro. Don't also don't forget to check me out on the homie epidemics video called Lane. Fucking go on YouTube, search up Epidemic Lane. And that's with O Creek. Fucking what's up, Bam Bam? Merry Christmas, my boy. Fucking um Check it out, fucking. This is our last offerings for the year 2020. Yeah, this fool fucking hit my fucking car, and he fucking wasn't even gonna say shit. See me fucking sitting here, he's looking at him fucking beat his ass, dog. He's lucky fucking. I was over here telling a war story, you know what I mean? Oh, that's right, my boy. Yeah, I'll let her know, fucking Renee. Anyway, so, um, you all have a good holiday. Have a good Christmas. Hope uh, Santa Claus brought you guys all your fucking butt plugs or anal beads or whatever it is you guys wanted for Christmas. Um, your pocket pussies or your anal bleach or whatever you guys fucking uh, uh, put on your fucking your gift list. You know what I mean? Um, 2021, dog. Got a lot of fucking music to drop for you guys, man. Fucking... Got fucking a lot of music I haven't even dropped. What's up, Kato? Merry Christmas, dog. Hope you had a good one. Fucking, uh. So yeah, I fucking chewed his ass out right now. Fucking right here in the window. Mary, go check it out. Fucking, um. So yeah, um. Everybody have a good holiday, man. Fucking be safe. Uh, 20. 20. Why? Wanted to finish the story. <laughs> 2021, got a lot of music coming out. I got a lot of unrecorded fucking joints I haven't dropped yet. Yeah, I know, dog. Almost had a new war story right now. About to light this fucking Pikes' ass up, dog. Fucking dumbass. Fucking, um. 
<laughs> got a lot of new music coming out, man. Fucking me and my boy Ivan. Yeah, that no shit. That shit would have been live, huh? Fucking pay per view and shit. Oh, uh, got a lot of new music coming in, man. Tapping in a lot of people. Got a lot of verses. Fucking, I've dropped for people. Um, got a lot of collaborations I've done. Got a lot of stuff coming out. Um, you know, I know I owe a few people a few verses. That shit will be coming. I know my boy, uh, Littles. Uh, I got to finish uh, uh, writing up a verse I got for him. Um, the homie Rascal from Oceano. Got a, a, a verse and a hook I'm doing for him and, and Baku Laz. Um, so just stay on the, on the lookout, man. We got a lot of fucking shit coming out. We're going to keep pushing. You know, fucking, you know, hopefully 2021 is a better year, man. Fucking 2020 fucked up year, man. Lost, lost some good homies to this COVID shit. Family, friends, fucking, it's been a fucked up year, man. But I'm trying to trying to end it on a positive note, you know what I mean? Fucking, it's fucked up shit, but you got to keep it pushing, you know what I mean? So, everybody, y'all have a good day. I hope. You have a good holiday, and like that, I'm out.